Well, there's something about the weather when we're out on our own. Something about the path that leads us forever home. And we don't need a reason, just changing with the seasons, following the feeling in our souls. Now the trail with me. Hi friends, Stacy here. Welcome back to our channel. So glad you all are here today. I'm so excited to take you along on our little two-day staycation getaway. Um, I'm so happy to bring you along. We're staying at an apartment above our favorite bookstore in Mystic, Connecticut. So I'm going to bring you along for the journey of the, what we get up to the next few days and I hope you enjoy it. So as most of you know, Seth works at a bookstore and it's our favorite bookstore and this week they're doing inventory. So she's going to be working for a couple of days in a row. So since we drive an hour to work, we have a long commute, we figured it'd be fun to do a little staycation, if you will, and stay in the area where she works for a couple of nights so we don't have to drive so far. So we found out that the owner of the bookstore where stuff works actually has an apartment above the bookstore. So we asked her if we could stay for a couple of days and she said yes. So this isn't sponsored. We paid for this trip with our own money, but we're so grateful to the owner for letting us stay here. So yeah, we're gonna do a little staycation vlog um, in our dream place for you guys. Since we were coming, we figured it'd be fun to vlog this trip. So we're gonna take you along and see what we get up to the next few days. Um, we just got here, today is Monday. And um, yeah, stuff is at work right now. Um, I showed you the drive this morning. We just got here, it's about 10, 10 o'clock in the morning. So stuff is downstairs in the bookstore working. They're doing inventory. And I am coming up here to the apartment above the bookstore. Um, it's a dream of me and stuff. So you guys know we're huge readers to own our own bookstore someday and to live above it. So this is like a dream come true for us to be able to stay at an apartment above the bookstore that she works. So we just got here. Stuff's already downstairs working. So um, I am just now getting into the apartment um, and settling in. I still have to bring everything in from the car. But I thought it'd be fun to film a little apartment tour with you guys of the Airbnb that we're staying at. So let's get started with the tour. So when you walk in, this is where you come in from outside. You go up a flight of stairs and then there's a window here. And then this is the entryway to the apartment. There's a cute little welcome mat. So this is the door to the apartment. How cute nice and bright we have a little wreath here i absolutely love it we're so excited to be staying here so i'm gonna take you on a little tour so when you come in the apartment um here's the door there's a cute little mirror here um which i love this is like what the hallway looks like um there's a cute little like dresser here there's some lights that i could turn on um and then this is the first room so this is a two bedroom one bathroom apartment which is perfect for us since it's just me and stuff staying here so this is the first door when you walk in we've got the light switch we've got some furniture a little like nightstand with some books and then this is what the room looks like how stunning is this we have a nice queen bed some towels a nice nightstand some wall decor We've got a cute little sitting chair. We've got this beautiful artwork on the wall. And yeah, it's a little reading nook right here. And then this is the first bedroom. I absolutely love how bright and white it is. Then you can go right in here into the second bedroom, which is attached. 
So this is the second bedroom. I love it. It has a nice big closet here. Lights. Another door. A little floor mirror. Some really pretty beachy artwork since we're near the beach. Window. Here's the other queen bed with some towels. Little furniture. And here's the little cute little chair. Um, I love the decor. And it's another little reading area so how cute so this is the second bedroom so steph and i will be in these rooms um we'll have to decide which ones we want those are the bedrooms moving through this door this is the living room area so this is like an overview how cute is this and this is the entryway where we came in earlier so you can also go through this way so we've got some artwork some little benches we've got a little reading corner right here with a rocking chair, a book light, and how cute is this bookshelf? She has a bunch of books. Since the author, um, the owner owns the bookstore, you know, she's a huge reader and she's actually an author. So we've got some books up here. Nice little reading corner. We've got some beautiful windows. How pretty. We've got some more books. This is one of my favorite parts. We've got a little work from home desk setup how cute is this this is such a cute desk i absolutely love it i'll probably be working here because i am going to be working um because you know i work from home with my business so i am going to be working during this trip since it's during the week so while stuff's working at the bookstore i will be working up here so we have the perfect work setup and then here's the living room how pretty i love the blue um, it's so pretty. So this is what it looks like. We've got two beautiful couches. I love the rug. It's so nice. Little coffee table, floor lamp, lots of wall art. We've got the curtains. It's so bright in here. So pretty. Some bookish wall decor. And then here is the smart TV. And we've got a TV stand down here with some more books. So that again is the living room how stunning is that and then moving through this doorway we have the kitchen the kitchen's so pretty it's like yellow and green there's postcards to send postcards um there's a full full beautiful kitchen lots of counter space got the full stove oven sink i love the yellow decor got a coffee maker everything we need um, and then we've got a beautiful, spacious kitchen table. I love this green rug. And it's so nice because this place has a washer and dryer, so we can do some laundry. So how nice is that? Little laundry basket. And then here is the fridge. We packed some food from home, so I actually put it in here. So you can see I put some food in there. But how nice is this? So this is the kitchen. It's just so bright and beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then we have this hallway here with some storage. This is the bathroom. So we've got a beautiful, beautiful tub shower. And then we've got a nice counter with a nice sink. I love the blue on the walls. Got a nice mirror here. And then the window, toilet. It's just a really cute bathroom. I absolutely love it. This is our first time here, so you're seeing my first impression um, as I like go through each room on this tour. So yeah, first time here, I'm absolutely loving it. We'll probably be staying here again because it's so convenient since stuff literally works downstairs in the bookstore. And then coming out of the bathroom, Back to the hallway, this is where we came in. This is the ent entryway and that is the front door. So that is the apartment or the Airbnb that we're renting. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think. It's literally our dream because like I said, this apartment is literally above the bookstore where stuff works, which is our favorite bookstore of all time here in Mystic, Connecticut. So we're so excited that this worked out since she's working days in a row for us to stay here. So we're so grateful for the owner for letting us come. Um, and it is available for rent on Airbnb. So if you're visiting our state, 
um, you could definitely stay here. But yeah, so we'll be here. Today's Monday. We're going to be here till Wednesday because stuff's working pretty much Monday through Wednesday. So we'll be here for a couple of days. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, we're just going to take you along on our adventure. Um, like I said, it is a work week. Um, it is a week. Um, it is the um yeah work week so i am going to be working while stuff's working at the bookstore downstairs so i have all my work stuff with me since i work remotely i love that i could take it with me so i'm gonna be working here while stuff works downstairs and then so we're gonna take you along as i do my work stuff and while stuff's working of course i'm gonna go visit her in the bookstore but they're doing inventory today and tomorrow so i can't go down there because the store is closed to the public so maybe on wednesday i will show you the bookstore when she's working and they're open but yeah it's just gonna be a nice couple of days it's nice to get a change of scenery nice to get a new work environment when you work from home like i do i usually work at the library when she works at the bookstore but now i don't even have to go to the library this is so nice that i can literally work right upstairs from the bookstore so i'll be working i'll take you guys along stuff's gonna be working and yeah we're gonna hopefully get up to some fun things while we're here too just for a couple days like we're gonna try to get some sightseeing in so i'm just gonna take you along with us um on our staycation here in mystic i hope you enjoy it but that is it for the apartment tour i absolutely love it i think we're gonna really like staying here and want to stay here again so now um i am gonna bring everything in from the car unpack get settled and then I am going to start the work day since it's Monday morning and I have a lot of work to do today. So yeah, just going to get everything settled in and unpack and start working. But I'm going to bring you along with us and I hope you enjoy the vlog. We're still miles away from the end of the day and the wind walks by our side. We'll fly through the rivers and we'll swim through the sky Nothing can bring us down when it's you and I Hi everybody, it's a little while later. We finished our work day and Steph just got into the Airbnb for the first time. She had a busy day doing inventory at the bookstore. <laughs> I'm so glad you're done, Steph. How was your day? Good. Got a lot done? <laughs> it was so busy. I worked like eight and a half hours. Doing just, inventory. Just like scanning everything in the store. Yeah, that's a lot of work. So yeah, you had a good day. But yeah, we're... Um, Steph's in the Airbnb for the first time. We turned off all the lights, put the lamps on to make it cozy. So um, we both finished work. So we're just going to have a super cozy night in. We're just going to have dinner here and chill out for the rest of the night. And that'll sum up our first night here. Tuesday, February 27th, I believe. 
and we're just getting our morning started we had a great first day here yesterday for our staycation so i hope you guys enjoyed the footage so far um it was a pretty lazy chill day yesterday honestly just working um so today is going to be a little bit more fun to film because steph actually has the day off today we weren't sure if she was going to or not but they did give her the day off so um, that's exciting because um, we'll get some time to do some exploring and kind of like some vacation activities here in Mystic. Um, so we just got up, we're getting ready for the day. Um, I filmed a couple clips. Um, I got dressed and everything and I am planning my day on my iPad because I'm using a digital planner today from my favorite planner company, Go Get A Girl Company. They have a digital planner. So um, I like to use the physical paper planners when I'm home. And then when I'm out and about, I like to use the digital planner because I can use it on the iPad and it's a lot slimmer. So I just plan out my day, which I do every morning. Um, part of my morning routine, obviously, since we're away from home, my morning routine is different than it normally would be. And I'm someone who loves my routines. So I try to stick to them as much as I can even when we're not home. So for my morning routine, I just planned out my day in my digital planner. And I think I'm gonna do a little workout. It's about like nine in the morning. Um, you know, I like to work out in the mornings. And then um, I definitely need coffee. I'm feeling very tired today. So we're gonna walk over to our favorite coffee shop here in Mystic. It's called Sif Bake Shop. It's very well known. And it's literally within walking distance from where we're staying. So um, we're gonna go over there, waiting for stuff to finish getting ready. Once she's done, we're gonna go to the coffee shop and get some coffee and maybe a pastry or something because um, I didn't really bring like the ingredients to make coffee here where we're staying. Um, so we figured we would just get coffee out since we never do we always make it at home it would be a nice treat and we love this coffee shop so we want to support them since they're a small business so yeah once stuff's done getting ready we're gonna go walk over to the coffee shop get some coffee and maybe like a pastry or something for breakfast and then we're gonna come back here um it's literally in walking distance to our airbnb and then i have some work to do this morning for my business so i'm gonna work here there's a desk over there where I was working yesterday and I can also work from the couch so I'm going to do some work this morning and stuff's off today so she'll probably just hang out and chill and relax and then we're planning to go out in the afternoon. Um, we're probably going to get something out for lunch so today's going to be more of a fun exploring day. Um, so we're probably going to get something out for lunch which will be nice and then um we're gonna do some exploring and sightseeing we might go to one of our favorite places which is called old mystic village it's a very popular tourist attraction here it's just kind of like an outdoor mall with all different shops stuff got a gift card to one of the stores for christmas so i think we're gonna head over to that village after we get some lunch and spend the afternoon out since it's supposed to be a really nice day it's supposed to be in the high 50s so we got really lucky with the weather for this trip it's supposed to be w very warm this week which is unusual for us in the winter. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice afternoon just out and about, and then we'll probably come back here and probably have dinner here since um, I did pack some food to kind of save some money. Um, of course, there's nothing wrong with treating yourself when you're away from home, but I didn't want to overspend on too many meals. So I did pack some food. We have some leftovers. So probably have that for dinner and come back here and have a nice cozy night here. So that is how the day is going to go i'm going to take you along with us and i hope you enjoy it let's have a lovely day together
Well, there's something about the weather when we're out on our own. Something about the path that leads us forever home. And we don't need a reason, just changing with the seasons, following the feeling in our souls. Now the you're with me. Still miles away from the end of the day And the wind walks by our side We'll fly through the rivers and we'll swim through the sky Nothing can bring us down when it's you Everybody. We had a lovely day out today as you saw all the footage. We um, Steph had the day off so we wanted to explore the area. We love Mystic so much so we did a bunch of different things. We filmed the footage for you. We went to one of our favorite bookstores, Books A Million. We went to Old Mystic Village, did lots of shopping, and we went to the engine room for dinner which is one of our favorite burger places and now we're back at the Airbnb and we're about to go live on YouTube for some impromptu reading sprints. Mm -hmm. um, we decided to do this last minute mm -hmm. even though we scheduled sprints for later in the week because we're just going to be reading all night so we figured why not go live and have you all join us and I know a lot of you are not available during the day and you like when we do night sprints which doesn't happen very often but since we have this entire place to ourselves and it's nice and quiet. We figured it'd be the perfect time to go live and read with all of you. So we just set up the live stream and we are about to go live, but I hope you are enjoying the vlog so far.
it's now the next day today is wednesday and it's our last day here we are leaving tonight um stuff's working until six and then we're gonna be leaving to head home after that i can't believe this trip is already almost over it really flew by even though we were only here for a couple days um i've enjoyed every minute so it's bittersweet because part of me does not want to go home because I love it here so much. And then the other part of me, you know, misses our dog Jake and our parents and just like our regular day-to-day -day life. Um, so yeah, it's bittersweet to be going home today, but I've had such a lovely time here. I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog. I know it's been a little all over the place, so I'm sorry about that. I hope we didn't confuse you with anything. I tried to make the, the days as distinct as I can, but it's been a busy couple of days with, you know, stuff working, me working, and then us trying to kind of fit fun activities in during the staycation. So I'm glad that we got to do all the fun things yesterday when the weather was so nice yesterday. It was sunny. It was like mid to high 50s, which is warm for us here in the winter. So yesterday was a really, really good day and I filmed the whole thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the things we did. What we got up to, we did lots of exploring, sightseeing, going to our favorite local businesses here in Mystic. So like I said, today's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning, about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's our last day here. And today's gonna be a pretty boring day. Um, it's just a work day for both of us. Um, stuff's working downstairs at the bookstore, 10 to six today. And I'm just gonna be working from up here in the Airbnb above the bookstore all day. Um, and the weather has been perfect we've been very lucky with our stay because like i said yesterday and monday were really nice and today is supposed to be a very gloomy rainy day which is why it's so dark in here it's very gloomy out and rainy it's supposed to rain all day so it actually worked out perfectly because we were able to enjoy the nice weather yesterday and stuff stay off and now today when it's raining it doesn't matter because we're both just working inside she's at the bookstore i'm up here so yeah, just gonna be a cozy, gloomy, inside work from the Airbnb day for me, and Steph will be working at the bookstore. She's already at work. But we just got up this morning, did our morning routine. I got coffee and some pastries for us, again, from Sif Bake Shop, our favorite coffee shop here. It's in walking distance. Um, we got it yesterday, too, but like I mentioned, um, we didn't bring any coffee or anything to make, so we just decided to get coffee out and treat ourselves during this trip, so... Um, I walked to the coffee shop, we got our coffee, stuff just went to work, and I'm about to start my work day up here in the Airbnb. I just did a little workout, um, and I'm also doing some cleaning around the Airbnb because the owner was very nice. She actually um, lowered the price for our stay here if we were willing to help with some of the cleaning so we don't have to pay like the cleaning fee you know usually you have to pay a cleaning fee for airbnb once you stay somewhere um so she said if i um did a lot of the cleaning then she doesn't have to charge us the cleaning fee so we could save money on our stay so of course i said i would um so i'm actually gonna be working today but i'm also gonna be cleaning up the airbnb packing up all of our stuff loading the car Pretty much just getting ready to head home and leaving the place as neat as it was when we first arrived. So I'm going to be doing a mixture of all of that today. And yeah, I'm planning to visit stuff at the bookstore um, tonight before she's done. And right when she gets out at 6, we're going to head back home since we have about an hour drive home. So yeah, that's pretty much what the day is going to consist of. It's not going to be an exciting day. But I got a lot of fun footage yesterday, so you got to see that. But yeah, I'm just going to be working and cleaning and tidying up the Airbnb and packing all day. So I'll take you along, even though today is going to be pretty boring. But thank you so much for watching the vlog. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, um, I'm about to start work for the day, so I will check in a bit later.
it's a while later now it's about 4 30 in the afternoon and i just wanted to give one last final check-in and update before we close out the vlog so i told you today it was going to be a really chill rainy cozy day inside working and it was um i just finished up work for the day and stuff is still working until six so I have about an hour and a half until she's done. So I've just been cleaning up the Airbnb, um, getting everything back to the way it was, packing up all of our things to take home and just doing all of that end of vacation work that you do when you're about to go back home. So yeah, I worked and I did all that stuff for the Airbnb to close everything out for, their, for the stay since we're going back home tonight. So I'm pretty much done. I'm honestly just killing time right now because like I said, stuff still has like another hour and a half of work and I'm pretty much done with everything. I just have to clean like our stuff out of the fridge and then bring all of our belongings down and load up the car and everything like that. But I'm going to wait until like almost five-ish, I think, it, like at least like 40 minutes. Um because my plan is to since the bookstore is downstairs i just want to um close everything out bring all of our belongings down to the car right before like right when we're done so i don't have to come back up here lock it message the owner everything i just want to bring everything down get it all loaded up in the car so we're ready to go home right when stuff gets out since we have an hour long drive so I want to visit her in the bookstore at the end of her shift. I like to go in about an hour before closing, um, which they have winter hours right now. They close at six, stuff's closing. So I'm going to go into the bookstore at about five and just kind of hang out with her for the last hour of her shift. So um, yeah, pretty soon, like I said, I'm just killing time since I'm early. Um, pretty soon, I'm going to just bring all of our stuff down to the car, load it up, close out the Airbnb, and then just spend the rest of the time with stuff in the bookstore where she works until she gets out. And then we'll be ready to leave right when she gets out and we won't have to come all the way up back here and grab anything. I want to get everything out of here so we can literally just get in the car and go home once she gets out of work. So that's why I'm doing all the prep right now. So yeah, I'm just killing time. I have some time before I have to bring everything down. But I'm going to bring all of our stuff down, get it all, get everything in the Airbnb done. Um, I'm sad to be leaving now that it's empty. I've had a really nice time. We definitely want to stay here again. It's so cool being right above the bookstore. It's so easy because Steph was able to just, to just walk downstairs for work. It's our dream to own our own bookstore and to live upstairs like this. So we got to live out the dream for a couple days. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along in the vlog. I'll probably film a couple more clips later um, when I visit stuff at work and as we depart to go back home. But um, this will probably be the last chatty bit. So I just wanted to say thank you all so much for coming along with us for a few days, living out this dream, like I said, of kind of living above our favorite bookstore in a beach town. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. We tried to film as much as we could. Like I said, some days were more fun than others, but this was our real life. That's why I love vlogs, so you could see the day-to-day -day life. So I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you for coming along on this lovely journey with us. Um, we wanted to share it with you, but you know, it's also great for memories, which is why we love to vlog our travels. Even though we don't get to travel very often, we make it very special, even if it's a staycation like this. And yeah, we like to film for you guys to see what we get up to but also for our memories to look back on because i do go back to our travel vlogs and watch them so yeah and i encourage all of you to take a staycation if you can like we did it doesn't have to be a big extravagant thing that you plan even if it's last minute just to get away for a couple days it's so healthy to just get out of your routine every once in a while and you know go somewhere else experience something new so that is what we did i feel very refreshed very good very blessed that we were able to do this. The owner is so, so kind. It, she owns the bookstore, so Steph knows her. She's lovely. So I feel very blessed that we got to stay here. Even though we did pay for this trip, it was not sponsored or anything. 
But we're very blessed. We had the nicest time and we hope to be back and we'll film again if we ever stay here again. But thank you again for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Join our lovely family community here. We upload new videos every week and we do lots of live streams. So yeah, um, I'm going to film a little bit more B-roll, but um, like I said, this is closing out the chatty bit. So thank you so much again for watching. We love and appreciate you all so, so much. And we really hope that you enjoyed the vlog. Try to take one ride around in my body, in my body Can't say I saw you around when I started, when I started I'm a hometown hero, that's a far that I came But I never knew if it would fall into place I became what I wanted and I'm still on the way, on the way. Ain't coming home the way I left it this time, something's different Ain't coming home the way I left it this time, it's my city, yeah, yeah Ain't coming home the way I left it this time, something's different Ain't coming home the way I left it, cause I know you miss me now well, I'm busting the door down, coming to your house It's been a fucking while It's crazy we grow now, but I'm just a whole child I'm still fucking around All my same goals, but got my same jokes Yes, I came up, but I ain't changed though Just my hometown knows my name now your best friend is a fan of me And your fan backin' like a family Heard your grand grand yeah, she heard of, me. heard of me And your man know I'm the man to be, to be. Now your best friend is a fan of me, fan of me. And your fan like a like a family Heard your grand grand yeah, she heard of me, she heard of me. And your man know I'm the man to be Try to take one ride around in my body, in my body Can't say I saw you around when I started, when I started I'm a hometown hero, that's the far that I came But I never knew if it would fall into place I became what I wanted and I'm still on the way Ain't coming home the way I left it this time Something's different Ain't coming home the way I left it this time It's my city, yeah, yeah. Ain't coming home the way I left it this time Something's different Ain't coming home the way I left it Cause I know you miss me